Well, welcome again, everyone, to the video version of my daily inspiration. It's our goal to provide these devotionals um, as a means of extra encouragement. Um, and so we've titled today's installment, Develop a Quiet Confidence. And let me read it to you. Contrary to misconception, being bold and brave isn't the only way to face difficulty. Those postures usually are short-lived. What you need when you're meeting your most difficult moments is a quiet and steadfast confidence in God's miraculous ability. Thankfully, the scriptures are filled with such examples. Perhaps the most memorable one, memorable one was Israel's departure from Egypt. As the Israelites fled captivity, only the Red Sea stood before them and their freedom. With the bloodthirsty Egyptians hot on their heels, the Israelites began to question Moses' leadership and God's also. At that point, the Lord gave an essential message to the people of Israel through his servant Moses. In Exodus 14, 13 through 14, this is what the Lord said through Moses. Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. God called the Israelites to conquer their fear and step onto the solid ground of faith in his provision and protection. He declared his promise to fight for their lives and to defeat their enemies. However, the key to their obedience and trust was a willingness to be silent. This example displays the very essence of having a quiet confidence. It's hard to surrender to God when you're always complaining, comparing, or commiserating over your circumstances. It's also impossible to hear God's voice over your own. Developing a resolve that sustains you through the storms of life is about remaining calm and quiet in the presence of God. Psalm 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Now remember, God isn't commanding you or commending you for being overcome with anxiety or fear over your problems. Instead, he is saying you shouldn't remain in those self-confining prisons nor trust in the plan of escape you have devised. He will provide a way through your sea of struggles. Psalm 77, 19 says, Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, though your footprints were not seen. And the devotion concludes with this. Take courage in knowing that you can have quiet and humble confidence in the Lord. Rest assured that he will part your Red Sea. You know, maybe that's where you are right now. You're at the mouth of your Red Sea. You're at the, the foot of your Red Sea right now. And you're staring at what looks like an impossibility for you right now. Well, thankfully, on God's business card is given the title, The God of the Impossible. God makes a way where there is no way. Right now, what has been trending on the news, um, even, even on regular news stations, are videos of hospital workers on the roof of their buildings singing that song uh, that we've sung in church, Waymaker. Uh, people declaring their trust in God. And usually when there is a trial, a tribulation, or some type of trouble, we are left more vulnerable, yes, but we're more likely to look to God. Even the most faithful one of us, when things are humming and going fine, uh, we have God, you know, uh, we're trusted in him and we do what we got to do and we do our check-ins and so forth and on. But when life is seemingly falling apart all around us, when we don't have all of the answers, when we feel like we don't have any answers, God, like he did through Moses, says to you and I, be still be silent. That's your job. Your job is to be silent. That word silent in the Hebrew means to be calm. You be silent. You be calm. You take refuge and shelter in me. 
How do we develop a quiet confidence right now in the midst of all that's going on? We redeclare our trust in God that he will fight. He is the way maker. We trust in him to make a way, to make a way for our family, to make a way for our finances, to make a way for us to get through this crisis right now. By God's grace, as you and I spend time in his word, we will be refreshed and revived. We will also be refocused once again on the miraculous ability for God to make a way where there seems like there is no way. I'm sure that you and I have had other Red Sea experiences that we could look back on. The fact of the matter is, is that God specializes in parting Red Seas. And so let us look to him with a humble, quiet confidence, expecting him to do it again. That is our prayer for our city. That is our prayer for our church. And my friends, that is our prayer for all of us right now. So may God bless you as you boldly approach the throne of grace with confidence, a humble confidence, trusting in God to make a way. Thank you.